Orlando Baking Company prides itself on following the family tradition of baking quality breads and rolls since 1872. Our international taste comes to you with daily neighborhood freshness. Real Italian bread from Orlando. You can taste the tradition. Skulls are cool, you know, and everyone can feel one. Just, you know, start grabbing your head. A hands-on experience? The Humans, a Field Guide exhibit is already getting plenty of thumbs up. There are very few animals that have an opposable thumb, and primates have opposable thumbs. Many of them do anyway. And uh, with that, we've had a variety of specific adaptations over evolutionary time that has led up to perhaps one of the most useful features in animal morphology in the history of the Earth. It's the first new exhibit since the Health Space Museum melded into the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. There won't be a separate human health gallery, but human health is being blended into existing galleries. Our new focus now is on sustainability and how humans on this planet, now that there's seven, there's soon to be seven billion of us, how can our planet remain sustainable? Well, human health becomes a huge issue there. If we look at a human skeleton, we're going to talk about why humans suffer certain things. Why do our backs hurt? Why do we break our hips? Why do we hurt our knees? Why do we sprain our ankles? All these are understandable from an evolutionary standpoint. Ah, evolution. Turns out it's more than a trip to Planet of the Apes. There was an ancestral animal species that eventually gave rise to all the different animal species we see. So it's neat to be able to compare stuff like our skeletal morphology, the shape of our bodies, the way we move, the way we eat. All those different things show this change in our ancestral lineage over time. So why not compare ourselves to a snake? Why not compare ourselves to mammals that, uh, you know, maybe walk on all fours as opposed to us being bipedal? Okay, maybe you don't need the museum to explain the evolutionary ties to, you know, the chimpanzee, the orangutan, gorilla, got it. But what you will find out is our species is tied to many others like, uh, the python, of course. Think about it. How many eyes does the python have? Two. It has two ears. It has two nostrils. It has one mouth. It has a backbone very similar to ours. The only thing it's really missing are arms and legs. Well, in a python, during development, it actually develops arms and legs, but then it stops during that whole developmental process. The point being that we are vertebrates, and they are vertebrates, and we're much closer to each other than you might suspect. And the idea is, is to get across that humans are part of this whole system. Humans, a field guide, may be the first time a museum has taken human health and approached it from physiology, anatomy, and evolutionary standpoints. With the merger, this is just a taste of what lies ahead, like the upcoming Your Skeleton Through the Ages exhibit with the Cleveland Clinic. What we're going to talk about is why humans suffer certain things in our skeleton, why we have fallen arches, why we tear anterior cruciates in our knees, as I mentioned before, why we fracture our hips. We'll talk about that from an evolutionary standpoint, and then the clinic offers a clinical perspective on what you can do and what you can how you can, can manage and try to stop these problems. Besides health space, the Cleveland Museum of Natural History is creating more space. We're going to change our building, we, and, but we're also looking at exhibit designers because we're going to change the way that we present our exhibits. When you come here in a couple years, what you're going to find is you'll start with the Big Bang, which of course is the, the very beginning of everything, at four, roughly 14 billion years ago. We're going to talk about the origins of the solar system, the origins of Earth, the blue planet because of liquid water, the origins of life, evolution of life, finally talk about human evolution. Lots to cover, which is what makes a curator's job so challenging and enjoyable. We have about five million different objects at our disposal for study, for educational purposes, and so forth. We often try to pick specimens that tell a story that really has the visitor relate to the exhibit in question. If we put a hand out there, if we put a foot in the skull, those are things that the general public, whether they're an adult or a child, can actually relate to. Now the Cleveland Museum of Natural History is taking history back to the future. We're the youngest mammals on the planet, and you know what? Look what we've done to the neighborhood. It's time for us to start asking ourselves, you know, we're the new guys, but maybe we got to start thinking about what we can do to save the older guys. Bringing Northern Ohio to your door every month, Northern Ohio Live Magazine's proud to support Live from the Circle. Dining, theater, basically all that's unique to our region can be found on northernohiolive.com. Arts, culture, and living. Northern Ohio Live.